What's up, my fellow Extreme Grandma Party attendees? It's Ghostboy here with a collection update. And I, I bought a lot of CDs this month, actually. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, so I went to see Megadeth on uh, September 16th. And for some reason, that show actually got me back into buying CDs instead of just waiting, you know, to buy them after I built my collection of uh, my Blu-ray collection. But, you know, and I might tell that story on uh, YouTube. My experience at that show because i have a lot about that that i would love to share with you guys hey, what the computer's glitching what the hell all right we're good so i have 10 cds for blu-ray let's get the cds first first we got august burns red messengers classic metalcore album i love it it has probably the the weakest quality that this and uh, Thrill Seeker, but they're both still great albums um, of August Prince Red. But yeah, amazing metalcore album. Now we got we have a new release, Born of Osiris, Angel or Alien. This was originally my album of the year, but then we got some other things that came out that topped it. And my god, this might be my favorite album by them now because uh, Rips for Days, man. Like, this is just this is a masterpiece. Check it out. Fucking fantastic. Definitely top three albums of the year right now. We'll see what the future holds. Now we got Currents, The Way It Ends. The album that actually got me into them. I wasn't too big on them uh, when I first heard them. Then I heard this album and I was like, oh wow, it's pretty dank. Unfortunately, the it's not in very good condition. You know why? Fuck. That's why. Fucking disc is falling out. Just like... Nothing. Yeah, see? It's fucked in fuck damn it. I should just restart this whole video because I can't speak. But I'm too lazy. Then we got another one, uh, Foo Fighters Sonic Highways. Pretty good album. I like it. I only know one song from it, but that's okay. Uh something from nothing. I've I heard that song a lot on uh Music Choice, back when I used to listen to Music Choice. And uh yeah. I'll have to check it out eventually. And they dropped a new album, right? I'll have to check that out as well. But, uh, yeah. Now, we got some good old butt rock. Godsmack, The Oracle. This is my favorite Godsmack album. This is just dad metal to... Two. At its finest. And, uh... It's called dad metal because I don't really consider this... I consider this more of a metal album than a rock album, TBH. But whatever. And my, my mom is the biggest Godsmack fan ever. And I almost have all Godsmack. I still gotta get a thousand horsepower. And then I'll be done with the collection. Heckin' excited, bitches. So yeah, that's that. So naturally, I got into them from her, obviously. Then we got good old Gojira, Magma. I was going to get uh, The Way of All Flesh instead, but it, that wasn't on Amazon. You know? But, uh, Whatever. And I can only buy stuff on Amazon because I'm, I have to have an account to buy stuff, which I highly doubt that's true, but better safe than sorry, I guess. I don't fucking know. My mom knows all this, not me. But, uh, whatever. And now we have, of course, Hatebreed, Way to the False Self. I now have every album by them. And I, let me just say, I'm one happy man right now. I have all their studio albums, including For the Lions, including Under the Knife, and in, I have a Live Dominance on DVD. That's that, and I have the signed album, the signed vinyl, and the signed vinyl poster. Vinyl poster. The signed poster. Mini poster. Moving on. We have good old Lamb of God Resolution. Almost done with uh, these guys. I still got to get New American Gospel and Wrath. And I also need uh, Legion X, the Burn the Priest thing. To, uh, I guess, technically complete the Lamb of God, because Burn the Priest is Lamb of God. But, you know. Whatever. So, amazing. And also, I think this is one of the most underrated albums ever. Like, it is so fucking good. And I think this... Randy's voice might have been the best on this one, honestly. Like, listen to a song like Ghost Walking, you just got... His voice is just much deeper. You can hear it. You can hear much uh, deepness in his voice in this one. And, uh... What else? It, uh, also, that song brings back good memories from when I used to play Guitar Hero Live. That song introduced me to the song, actually. And, uh, just been in love with it ever since. Alright, two more. And they're both by the same band, so I'll just 
control. Got Trivium, Ascendancy, and In Waves. So I got Ascendancy from the Rock and Roll headquarters, the, the store up in Seaside. I got that actually along with Sonic Highway. And uh, so get this, right? This was before Megadeth, right? This was like a week before Megadeth, a little less. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I need more Trivium in my collection. So I went up to the CD uh, thing. It just stands. And uh, you know what the first thing I saw was? This. I was like, oh shit, I'm buying this. So you know what I did? I bought it. And now I own it. Fuck. <sighs> I don't breathe enough, I guess. I've got another tr uh, show in Waves. Of course, great album. This might be my favorite uh, cover. My favorite Trivium cover, even though it's not my favorite Trivium album. But uh, I'm, uh, I plan to get the rest of their discography. I'm really looking forward to the new album because both singles are fire. Especially Feast of Fire, no pun intended. But that's, uh, I think, a little better than uh, in the Court of the Dragon. And Live 2, <laughs> sex. Very sex. Oh, I had Shogun coming on the way, but that's not coming until Saturday. And it's already the end of the month, so... There's no point in showing that then because that'll be an October get. What am I going to do? Just be like, oh, uh, this proves that I ordered it. I don't have it. So this was pointless, but I ordered it. Oh, fuck me. But uh, now we got some Blu-rays. We got The Departed. I'm slowly but surely getting into crime dramas now. Even though I really don't like dramas because they're just uncomfortable to watch a little bit. It's why do you want to see? Why do you want to see stuff of just people just being like, "Oh, you did this. You you sex with other women, and you're a bitch, and I don't know the N word. You know, stuff like that. Like, oh, and uh, well, I don't know how you it. Speaking of uh, the N word, and that's a really bad segue. I feel like a lot of pe um, so you guys know how in crime dramas a lot of uh, the white actors say the n-word i feel like that's kind of acceptable because if you've watched a crime drama before you know they're portraying other characters and they're portraying like mob uh people and one of the uh and mob people were racist you know they were scumbags and so i don't well i'm not condoning racism or anything jesus i fucking hate racist but this i don't think is uh too bad because they're portraying scumbag characters and war and uh these particular scumbag characters are racist they said racial slurs and um yeah that's all that i'm sure anyone who's watched a mob movie i think will understand what i'm saying because i'm not saying you know it's okay to say the word but i think when you're playing a character it makes sense all right next we have uh this beautiful steelbook ferris bueller's day off very nice steelbook actually really good I don't love this as much as a lot of people do but it is really good movie you know it's a really good movie and it's a very nice deal book so I'm glad I got it then we have of course Jurassic Park I had to get it come on this is one of my favorite uh, movies ever one of my top three movies one of, and it's the most exciting movie ever to be to, to be honest and honestly it's, that's all I have to say man because I've already said as much as I can yeah. And last one, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. This is probably the last MCU movie that I will uh, keep for now. Probably until No Way Home because uh, you guys know most MCU movies are on Disney+. Plus and, you know, because of that, it makes me want to buy it less. Just because of... Uh... So here's the thing, like movies aren't this watching movies aren't the same as you know listening to music because music you have spotify you can watch watch you can listen to everything there's no app that has everything prime doesn't have everything hbo max doesn't have everything uh netflix sure does sure as hell doesn't have everything so that's why it's much more i think important for me to have a movie i love on blu-ray because and don't forget netflix you know movies for the most part are only temporary like, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off is on Netflix right now. Temporary. The Departed was on Netflix. That got taken off, like, at the beginning of the month. It sucks. But, uh, 
hey at least i own them now and that's my video and my collection too hope you liked it hope you were violently eating potato chips because that would be cool while watching this not no uh i gotta think before i speak i'm just kidding i'm built different goodbye